Hello everybody. I got a package in the mail. This is all the way from Denmark. This comes from Kim over at This Is Music and uh, Jacob at Jacob's Music Channel KRI. I always feel like a, a radio DJ when I say that. So it's a joint VCLT package. Like I say, all the way from Denmark. Um, wow. Can't thank you guys enough. Honest to God, thank you very much. I know where... Uh, I know Jacob was going to send me something. He spoke to me about a couple of CDs. Um, and then I knew he'd mentioned Kim as well, but I'd, I've got absolutely no idea really what is in this box besides those two CDs that Jacob's talked to me about. So let's get into it, shall we? Let's see what's in here. Please go and check their channels out. I will leave links below. Um, great guys. You know, Kim. I mean, Jacob's been... Um, well, I suppose they're both kind of new, really, aren't they? You know, I know um, the amount of videos Kim's made, when you look at his channel, you might not think he's fairly new. But I, I see Kim and Jacob as kind of new kids on the VC block, if you will. But lovely fellas. And like I say, thank you very much, guys. Let's get into this. Right, this is well packaged up. We've got bubble wrap. We have got... Car uh, not cardboard, like paper whatever they are but well padded okay right so see if we can suss out what is what we have got well that one's easy to work out that's from kim let's have a look thank you very much kim let's see what's in here shall we the last v in fact what's playing in the background is this band maceration which was a, a gift from kim in a previous vclt i received um and he tends to like to sort of send Danish stuff. I suppose we'll find out, really. But so let's have a look what we've got. Oh, excellent. Brilliant. I've not done it the normal way, have I, really? I normally uh, take it out and lift it up. But um, maybe I'll do that on, on the next one. Far too excited, you see. Excellent. Brilliant sticker. That's going on my record player. Not that Mike, uh, Metal Mickey would approve because he thinks that anyone who has stickers on their um, record player lids are hooligans. Anyway, let me show you this. This is Impalers. I do have one of their, I think it's an EP by this band. Um, I'll put the details here, like I say, because I might not be able to read some of this, but God from the machine is it yeah don't know what year it's out but again i'll put all the info below impalers but they're um like a sort of thrashy um speed sort of metal band but with um a heavy dose of just good old heavy metal in there well that's excellent i didn't know anything about that release and that artwork is quality, isn't it? Brilliant, superb, thank you, Kim. Okay, we've got another package from Kim. Uh, hey, Mark, here's a bunch of goodies that Jacob asked me to send to you. I threw in a couple of things myself too. Anything that doesn't say from Kim is from Jacob. Excellent, okay. Let's see what this is here. I'm gonna try and do this one like I always do. Let's get it the right way around. I think that's right. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, then that looks interesting, doesn't it? Trench Ripper. Oh, wow. Now, if that is not some kind of old school death metal in the vein of Bolt Thrower, I'll eat my hat. Not that I'm wearing a hat, but... Oh, I suppose it could be war metal, really, couldn't it? But that looks um, excellent. And there's no barcode on that, so that's that could be well be... Um, could well be a self-release trench ripper excellent you can't be um an album with a tank on the cover can you nothing else in that <clears throat> right okay so we've got some stuff here that is bubble wrapped up it says to mark so i'm thinking that's off jacob and i do remember seeing um a 
quite going to be hard to get into in it. I've got my scissors here. Oh, here we go. We're all right. Um, I do remember seeing a, a previous v VCLT off Jacob. I think it was to Kim. And there were some seven inches in there. Right. Let's have a look. There's a stack in here. I'm going to get them all out. And I'm just going to do one by one. I've got to get them the right way around. Okay. So I can't see. I can only see the back of that. And there's a record there. So we have got... Atom Smasher, wow, that is a band I don't know about. But like I've said, so that this uh, video isn't really, really boring, because I don't know what I'm talking about, I will put all the information below. I'll maybe even put a little thing in there of what style of music they play. But I um, I like that cover. Records the back there, the records in the back there. Atom Smasher. Seven inch singles, The Law. I do have a bit of a seven inch single collection. Not massive, but uh, it's always nice to see, um, to be able to add some more, isn't it? Revenge. Nail them all, I think it says. Wow. Again, don't know about that one, but. <laughs> it says on the back, um, that hails to. Um, it's got Suicidal Angels on there, so I think maybe they're a bit of a thrashy uh, style. But it says at the bottom, death and torture to Christians, Jews, traitors, liars, and to false metal thugs for proving us that true metal. Run it into our veins. Jesus Christ. It's interesting, isn't it? But yeah, we'll see what that one's all about. Revenge. Nail them all. Next we have got... Oh, now then. That looks black metal if ever I saw it. The Goat Blood 666. Wow, well, I don't even know who that is. I can't even read that logo. Again, I'll have, I'll have worked it all out and it'll be below what's what. Instead of me just staring at it blankly. It'll be all there, but if that isn't black metal, I'll be well shocked. Hibernia, Hibernia Productions Limited Edition. Interesting. I'll check that out. Not, I've not got a great deal of black metal in my collection, but I'm always, uh, I'm always up for listening to that style and discovering stuff. Okay, we've got a promo seven-inch here, and this is. Oh, Death Rides a Horse, another band I have never heard of. Okay, Horizon, taken from the forthcoming full-length album, released on Dead Bangers Productions 2016. No, nope, don't know anything about that one. But that's the um, Mephisto little logo there that's on there so these are obviously from Mephisto records that he's, he's picked these up from at some point but yeah another one for me to check out Death Rides a Horse superb okay what have we got next jeez there's about seven or eight here Victimizer now I've heard of them Rapid Thrashing Violence or Vi Viola and Wow. Well, I, I mean, that the name of that tells you everything, doesn't it? And even looking at the band, I think you know what you're going to get there, don't you? That's obviously some kind of um, black and speed, punky thrash metal, if ever I uh, was going to guess what one was. A custom label there. Victimizer, excellent. Like I say, I will. I'll try and put as much information as I can there because um, I'm not really doing too well in knowing these bands, am I? <laughs> okay, let's get this the right way up. This one is Bonds of Trust Accursed. Now then, look at that. That looks um, full on hardcore to me, that one. Whether it is, I don't know. Yeah, Hardcore Attack 98. 
that'll be interesting to check that one out oh okay so it's two bands it's accursed and bonds of trust very interesting check that one out nice one thank you jacob opening my eyes to a lot of new music here mate and last seven inch we have got is ah okay know that band well severe torture dutch if i remember rightly um intense uh, smash your face in death metal got a, i think i've got one album by them maybe other maybe two i can't remember but um, yeah band that i like excellent brilliant severe torture seven inch superb thank you very much mate right we've got another one here like so doesn't say anything about from kim on it so this one's got to be off jacob as well let's see if we can get into this one if it takes too long on camera i will speed it up so you're not watching all oh, right okay so that's open i've got some bubble wrap inside here let's get into this see what we've got so i'm thinking this is a stack of cds so i am hazarding a guess that the cds that jacob spoke to me about previously will be in this package here i'm very intrigued right let's have a look wow do my best not to look but i can't i've seen one of them and that's brilliant because it's not something i own and that is ace here we go look at this one <laughs> toxic superb world circus is a a brilliant album i think this is a brilliant album but this is their more um, more recent stuff from 20 2014 in humanity 2017 breaking class is it and 2018's kinetic closure there's the album covers put out massacre records Superb, wow, look at that, it's a, a triple, triple CD set. Brilliant, excellent. I'm, I'm intrigued to know what this uh, later toxic stuff sounds like, because like I say, I've only, um, I like what it's done like a flight case. I've only heard the first two albums. So it'll be interesting to see what that later stuff's like. Toxic, three works, brilliant, superb. Uh, they're like a, a, if you don't know Toxic, they're like a, a thrash, progressive sort of thrash band, I would call them. Excellent, thank you very much. Next, we have got, what's that one? Wow. A Sixth Sense of Darkness. Okay, let's see what that one's all about. So it looks like some kind of, it's got to be some kind of black metal, hasn't it? There's the um, rear inlay. Yeah, got to be. Don't know. A sixth sense of darkness. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. Well, I'll look at the image there, don't you? See what that's all about. I don't know what the band is, but it, it will have been there, don't you worry. I'll have put it there, but I can't can't make out who the band is. Because my eyesight is so shit. A six that's on that side. Yeah, I don't know if that's the band, a six sense of dark. Anyway, like I say, I won't embarrass myself, it'll all be there. Next we have got another one in a oh okay. I know this one. UK thrash band. From just down the road from my hometown in Preston, Solitary. I think this is their debut, if I remember rightly. Um, I think it is, yeah. I can't remember the year it was put out, but it's, um, it's going back now to the 90s, I'm pretty sure of it. But uh, yeah, great band, great album. I shall uh, pass that on to somebody else, with it being um, a duplicate. But thank you very much, Jacob. We've got next, we have got... <clears throat> don't know that one either all in finish by the looks of that 
Don't know that band. U10, is it? Looks interesting. It's hard to tell when you've got that kind of cover. It's hard, really hard to tell what kind of style they play, isn't it? But like I said, I'll put as much information as I can. Here we go. This is the one. This is the one we, that Jacob spoke to me about, and I am absolutely made up to get this. I've got a different version of it, a recent repress, but the OG CD copy of Acts of the Unspeakable by Autopsy, put out on Peaceville. Oh, I made up with that. Thank you very much. 1992, I think it was, wasn't it? Absolutely buzzing about that. You know I love Autopsy, and you know I love OG copies. I'm absolutely made up with that. Thank you so much, Jacob. You're very kind wanting to send that to me, mate. Do appreciate it. Fantastic. Brilliant. Josh Barry on the bass, the old uh, suffocation bass player, wasn't it? And the other one that he did say he was sending to me, and I'm really interested to hear this, because I have had a Conqueror um, album in the past, but I, and I, it was okay, but it wasn't sort of mind blowing. But I believe that earlier stuff is a bit more meat and potato, sort of death metal. Um, so this album is Sexual Affective Disorder. Um, don't know what year it was out, but again, it'll be it'll be in the uh, print that that I put there. You know, there's the back of it. I think they're Swedish, if I remember rightly. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they are. Conqueror, really looking forward to hearing that. Thank you so much. Okay, right, we've got, there's a few things, Duncan. There's another thing here from Jacob. Some kind of like, it says to Mark, but some kind of like box thing. But I don't know what that is. Kind of CD size, but I don't know, don't know what it is. But again, I'm gonna get the scissors on the job get into that I suppose when it's been a VCLT from Kim I should I should just include these uncomfortable or awkward unboxing moments shouldn't I what is this got rid of all that I don't some kind of box with like a lid on it I'm trying my best not to look at it I'm trying my best not to look at it I can put that there what have we got here if that's the lid I don't know oh it's that way up okay so that's the bottom let's get this right here we go What's this? Grave. Oh, wow, what? Oh, no way. Oh, I remember Jacob showing this on his channel. Oh, wow, it's a box. It's a box with all their releases. CD releases. Oh, man, wow. The Death Unhallowed Limited 13 Disc Collector's Box Set. Oh man, that is outrageous. We've got the Death Unhallowed Death Certificate, if you will. Wow, look at that. Wow, 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 wow. All the early stuff, the demos, let's put that there. Putrefaction of the corpse. They were called corpse originally before grave. That's not the right, is that the right? Yeah, that's the right order. Into the grave. Wow, that is unbelievable. And it's going all the way with soulless. Extremely rotten live when they change the logo. Always worries you when they change the logo, doesn't it? Back from the grave. That's one that a lot of people uh, don't like, that one. I've never heard it, if I'm honest with you, really. That is superb. Well... There's a few albums here, do you know, as much as I'm a great fan, there's a few albums here that I, I don't know about. That is absolutely mind-blowing, mate. I can't believe you've sent me that. And that booklet, look at the back. Uh, the booklet comes with it as well. That's like a proper, 
proper thing, isn't it? Oh wow, thank you so much mate, that is, that is superb. Brilliant, absolutely buzzing with that. Love a bit of grave. Right, there's a few more things here. It looks like there's four cassettes. What are we on, 20 minutes? Four cassettes and a couple of, at least a vinyl at least. Right, let's have a look at this. Right, okay, so these, these are all from Kim, these cassettes. Let's see what these are like. And if I know Kim, he shows some pretty obscure stuff. So I think these are going to be some pretty obscure tapes. Let's see what we've got. Okay, the first one. <laughs> yeah. Don't know this band. <laughs> Not having much luck, am I? Crematorium Left to Die on a pink cassette. Kim picks up some, some brilliant music and a lot of stuff. You know, and a lot of blind buys. If you know Kim and his channel, you know he does a lot of blind buys. And that's what I feel like here. This VCLT is a load of blind bands to me because I don't know them. But I'm looking forward to checking them out. Cre uh, crematorium. Left to die. Okay, another one. Next cassette. We have got... Terminalist and... The crisis as condition still sealed in disciplinarian label. Don't know about that one, but it's got a bit of a sci fi looking cover that could be a bit of um, maybe technical thrash, sci fi thrash, maybe a eh? terminalist. Another band I don't know. I'm going to be relying on my editing skills to put all this information in below, aren't I? Because um, I'm not doing too well with this. Right, what have we got here? We've got... Oh. Serpent's Lair. In Perpetual Hunger. That's got to be some kind of... Um, no picture of the band, but... Looking at that logo, it's got to be some kind of black metal, hasn't it? I don't really know why I'm I'm guessing, because like I said, I'm going to put all the information on screen, but um, you, you feel like you've got to have a little guess, don't you? It's interesting, doesn't it? A bit more black metal to check out, and the last cassette is... Let's have a look. Is another one that's sealed. Got it the right way up, that's the right way up. I'm now then killing of that. I'm sure I've heard of this. It, it, I know it's not one of those, I'm not sure if it's a Dying Victims release, but um, oh, I've seen someone show this. I don't know who it was. Don't think it was Kim, but I've seen some, someone show this band killing. Uh, this album is Fact, uh, Face the Madness. Thrash band, what I remember hearing about them, I'm pretty sure. Can't remember where they're from, but um, look at that artwork, that's quality, isn't it? Brilliant. Still sealed as well. Absolutely superb. Thank you very much. Four great cassettes there from the man with the best beard and haircut on YouTube. Superb. It's not a haircut, it's a hairdo, isn't it? No such thing as haircut. Right, okay. And that this is it. We've got a bit of vinyl here. And this is from Kim. Thank you so much, Kim. And thank you so much to you, Jacob. Wow. What a box full of treats that is. Wow. Let's, right, okay. This is open, is it? It is now. Let's have a look. We've got a bit more bubble wrap inside. God, blimey. Okay. I think we're in there. Oh, Kim would be proud of me making the right job of this opening up, I'm telling you. So we've got a couple in there, I think. Let's have a look what we've got. So, let's go for this first one. I can put that there and then right. Here we go. Let's see. Wow, that looks like an interesting cover. Groovy death metal from my hometown. Oh, excellent. I said didn't have that um, 
Right, there's another vinyl under this, so I'm going to try and have to put that down carefully. So I can't see it. I'm going to try and put this bit of cardboard over the top of it. So I can't see that, and I'll put that back there. There we go. Groovy death metal from my hometown. Oh, there's another stick on the back. Okay, so Jacob, Jacob sent this to Kim, but he's already got a copy of it. So he's passing it on to me. So it's technically a gift from Jacob, then. Proper joint one, that and it. From Jacob to Kim, then to me. So this band is Crown the Beast. Is that right? Well, it looks interesting, doesn't it? It's all sealed up in one of those sealable covers, so I'm not going to get it out, to be honest, because I don't like the noise it makes on camera, but groovy death metal from Denmark. I'm all about death metal. I think sometimes when you put the word groove in, you're never quite sure, are you? But I know a lot of death metal bands have got rap, really nice groovy riffs, so I'm interested to check them out. Crown the Beast and Spawn of tomorrow thank you very much wow and another vinyl in here let's even get the right way up i've got me uh got me cardboard there let's try and do this let's pull it out from in between the cardboard and have the moment together the last thing in the vclt is oh excellent angel dust i don't own anything by this band at all so this is a Hell's uh, a High Roller release, Marching for Revenge. I know they're like um, a speedy thrash metal band early on. Went into a bit more sort of um, power metal realm, I think, later on. But looking at this, this is going to be um, this is going to be a re-release of their demos, isn't it? Oh, I can get that out because it's not sealed up. Yeah, look at it. It's got rehearsals from 85. I mean, they started off in the mid-80s, didn't they? I seem, I seem to remember their albums flying around in the sort of mid to late 80s. So this is obviously a recording of their early stuff. Excellent. First Angel Dust in the collection. I'm looking forward to hearing them. Brilliant. And I love, I love the releases High Roller do. That is superb. Excellent. Thank you so much, guys. Wow. What a VCLT package that is. I've got that much packing and cardboard on, my, on the side there that's unbelievable wow look at all that stuff seven inches 12 inches cds tapes what more do you want box sets everything wow unbelievable brilliant thank you very much oh so so excited with that so so excited with that um we're, what, we're nearly 30 minutes and I can't believe that's took 30 minutes. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. We all know these VCLT videos, they're great to watch, aren't they? It's a real uh, surprise for everyone. The people getting them, the people watching, that's what these are all about, aren't they? It's one of those amazing parts of this community. Um, but I appreciate you sticking around and watching. Thank you very much, like I say, to the guys for sending me those. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you, Kim. And thank you to you for taking the time to watch. It's always appreciated. I'll be back soon with another video. And until then, take care, everybody. Bye for now.